Hey, what's up guys? This is Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the heads up notifications that are coming in Android L onto your HTC One. Now this will also work in any phone that's running Android 4.3 and above. Um, so it's not going to be the exact same um, look that you're going to get in Android L, but it's pretty close. So this is this doesn't require root or anything. All you have to do is download an APK. The link to that will be in the description. There's going to be two options. You could download the paid version from Google Play. And there's also the free testing version that you can download directly from XDA. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and install the one that I downloaded from XDA. So go ahead and open up your file explorer and tap the APK that you downloaded below. After you open it up, hit install. Let heads up install. And then after that, we go ahead and open it up. Okay, it's all set up. So when you press start, you're going to have to give heads up notification service the OK to access your notifications. And after that, um, you can start setting, putting your settings in. Now, I um, like to have it ignore my silent notifications and ongoing notifications just so I don't have notifications always on the bot on the top part of my screen. And you could also um, sh um, change up the dismiss time. Um, I have mine set up to two seconds, but you could have it all the way going up to ten. Now, the whitelist and heads up is for the apps that you want to have heads up notifications for. So by default, no notification will use it. But as you keep adding apps, those apps will use it. So to do that, just go ahead and tap add new app. And then it'll give you a list of all the apps you have on your phone and you just be able to add them as you go along. Now, anytime you get a notification from that app, you get a heads up notification. Okay, so I'm gonna set myself a test notification and show you guys what it looks like. So you can see here I have a notification up top. You can move it to the left or right to dismiss it. Or you can just double tap it to open up the app. Now with that, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and add as many apps to the whitelist as you want. And uh, be sure to check out the full guide linked in the description below. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.